Welcome. In front of me is an iPhone 14 Pro and today I'll show you how you can hard reset this phone using iTunes. Now there's a couple of things that will be required for this because doing it through iTunes also will update the device to the newest version. So assuming you're doing this like probably right now as you're watching this, uh, your iPhone might already be on a lower uh, like previous ver versions. And considering this device basically came out, came out like a week ago, uh, there is new updates coming out like every couple days. So um, I'm gonna plug it in just so you can kind of see what's gonna happen on the computer side. So here we go, it automatically pops up with the version 16.0.2. So this is the newest version. I am running right now an older version. I think it's gonna be 16.01. So I'll download it, but as you can see, I'm gonna right now select only download uh, just so it starts the download. And while it's downloading, I'm gonna quickly go into a couple of things required for this. So number one, obviously you will need iTunes. Uh, iPhone doesn't operate on computers without this for some stupid reason, even considering it's 2022. Um, so you will need to download this program through Windows Store or Microsoft Store, I think it's called. Let's see. Yep. So it's Microsoft Store. Once you open it up, just search for iTunes. And as you can see, it pops up right at the front and you can select get. Now I already have it, so I'm not sure why it's telling me to get it, but whatever. So once you install it, you can then launch it and once you connect your phone, it will most likely give you kind of like a picture of your phone somewhere on the side right here. And you can choose to set it up as new or restore from a backup, just set, set it up as new. And this will then give you the access to this panel right over here. And right now, I'll just need to wait for the actual download of the iOS to finish, which is six gigs in size, which will take some time. Maybe I'll probably connect cable to get it quicker, but in any case, I'm gonna pause the video right here, uh, wait for this to finish downloading and then continue it from there. So see you in over hour, jeez. So yeah. Okay, so the download is actually finished right now. Uh, the icon actually disappears, so I have, I guess, no way of showing it, but I have downloaded it and you should be able to see it just in a second unless in the span of this, I don't know, an hour, a new update came out, which would be very unfortunate. So let's plug in our phone. And once it shows up, it gives me an option to update it, but like I said, I'm gonna be resetting it. So I'm gonna close this. And what you wanna do is press right over here. And this will show you your phone. So from here, you want to select restore iPhone. Uh, find my must be turned off. So we need to go into the settings on here. And we're gonna navigate into, does it say? No, it does not, so I assume it's gonna be in here. Find mine, there we go. And we need to turn it off, so. Now it does require me to log in, so I will provide my password. There we go. So now that Find My uh, phone is, or Find My is turned off, so we can just close this and click OK and then do this, I guess, again. Now it gives me an option to back it up or don't back up. The choice is completely up to you. If you want to back it up, you can. Uh, you have also two ways. You can back it up to iCloud, which is selected by default right here, but you can also create a backup to your computer, which honestly, it's up to your preference. Probably iCloud might be a little bit better just because you don't need to store anything on your computer. And if you reset your computer in the future, the backup won't be removed. So I'm gonna select don't backup. 
and then restore and update. I will mention there is no uh, version of this where you can just reset the device without updating it because Apple. So we're just gonna press this. As you can see, now that the software or iOS has been downloaded, it's going straight to extracting software. Once it's finished extracting, it's gonna start installing it. Now this entire thing will take probably like 10 minutes or so. It's not the shortest reset of your device. So be prepared. Uh, so I'm gonna let it run through and come back once it's finished. So as you can see, the process is now finished and you can set up your phone however you like. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.